Other states, not East <laughs> Nigeria, is at the receiving end of the latest attack by terrorists, suspected fighters of the Islamic State, West Africa province, Iswap, reportedly killed 26 fishermen in an attack in Mokdolo village, that's Gamburu Gala, Borno State, in, on Wednesday. While nine of the fishermen managed to escape from the attack, the terrorists surrounded those left tortured and killed them. Jire, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. This uh, not its attack. So the attacks have not ended. Yeah. What has ended, at least that what is no longer happening is to have the uh, fr frontry to go and attack military bases. Business. They don't have that capacity. The, those uh, big time ambushes that no, we used no, to no. see. If, if I is the Nigerian army that is ambushing them now, mm -hmm. a lot of I'm the happy. successes that the army I'm is happy. recording, the army is recording those successes through ambushes. Ah, that time, those ambushes. So Once they get information that they are moving, the army will go and lay an ambush for them and slaughter them. Good. You know? So Good. they are using their own uh, methods now yeah. against them. The vast so psychology. Is the, the, that is what is happening. The, the, the Tucanos have destroyed most of the gun trucks and other equipment that they use to move around and so, terrorize our people. So, no, you can't. You're working. Ah, if you move. The, <laughs> the, Tucano will detect you. They have the surveillance. We have surveillance aircraft patrolling the air, the airspace. So once they sense that, oh, these 10, are like 20 three, people, three 40 gun trucks going, gathered. they don't even need to be up to 10. Mm. It's the equipment that they are more concerned about because without the equipment, they are useless. Yeah. Mm. You know? So once they sight anything like a gun truck, mm. they will just send for the Tucanos to come and serve justice. Mm. And their own justice is swift, very, very precise. So that's why we no, are, no, be no waste of time. It doesn't, as I said before, about the MI-35P. He does not know ethnicity. He does not know religion. He just serves his justice the way he's been designed to serve it. So mm. there is no this thing. But our people are still being killed. Mm. This one now, so the, the, this town or this village mm. where In this is called, the army launched an attack in that village. Mogdolo? Yes, they launched an attack about a week ago in that village and killed uh, these guys. The suspicion of these people is that, this, the, the suspicion of the terrorists is that the residents provided information about their movement to the troops. Oh. So the troops killed dozens of them and their <coughs> commander. Yeah. So it is this anger. Oh. It's just similar to what happened in Koshebe, that uh, village where they slaughtered more than 68 farmers, rice farmers, the one that uh, I did the documentary sometime mm. they, Before they killed them, they kept telling them that you reported us to the army, and the army killed our people. Okay. Mm. So this is just a way of saying, oh, you, you, you told the army to come and kill us. Now, yeah, you are, look at the brutal deaths. Mm. They first used their nets. They wrapped them in their nets. Yeah. Mm. You know, tortured them tortured for so them long. Now Once they got unconscious, they now, they now spray bullets on them. Everything is being done so that others will learn a lesson. Because naturally, Gamburu Gala, people are resident in Gamburu Gala. So it's not one of those communities that people, where you hardly find people. No, people are resident there. You know, it's not uh, like uh, Malafatori or even uh, my friend, the speaker's uh, local, local government. That was deserted. Where are you? Even soldiers, you won't find soldiers. So, but now they want to send a message that don't report us, don't report our movement to the army. And the sources that the army is. And this reporting. intel we, we go a long way. Even the former theater commander. Uh, General Christopher Musa, who is now commander of the infantry corps, he told me that a lot of the sources they are, rec they are recording was down to cooperation of people. Yeah. Uh, the fact that they provide information about movement. There was a time when the army was not getting that. If you remember, for a long time, the Boko Haram guys, they had the sympathies of the, uh, the, sympathy yes. of the villagers. They were, even mm -hmm. go, they, were, yes. they, were, they were distributing rice to people, giving yeah. people money. 
Even during this, uh, during this, this uh, Naira scarcity, do you know that Boko Haram was sharing Naira notes to people? <laughs> if you Google, you see the story. In this same Borno state, they, they were on the highway, they stopped vehicles and they were giving people Naira notes in, during the scarcity. So they want to, to appear the, like humanitarian people, that humanitarian people. They care. Yeah, that you know, they love the people, they care. Look, government has abandoned you, but we are here. If you support us, you will enjoy everything that you need. You can go to your farm the way you want. They want to control the fishing business. The fishing business. And the business. Yes, that whole area. The fishing business, they've been making money on it for so long. They yeah. want to control it. Mujid, if there's anything that we have to credit this administration, is, you know, stemming the tide of violence and um, terrorism in that uh, in the northeast yeah, they, they, it's quite obvious now that the capacity of uh, iswap boko haram and other terrorists yes, i'm basing my judgments yeah. on the reports you know judy has been giving to yeah. us and what we've been seeing their, their, and their capacity the capacity of the nigerian wreck, military no the capacity of the terrorists Mm. and other bandits to wreck havoc has been seriously decimated. Mm. You can see the, the days uh, where we hear that... Super, they over, super camps. They, they, will, they will overrun... So scary. Um, ...military uh, camps and take, and take over the place and take their equipment and uh, whatever. Mm. I mean, those ones are no longer happening. And just like you said, it's our uh, troops that are now laying ambush uh, 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 to them and taking them out. So, I, from what I read, this was just a, a, a retaliatory effort. I mean, to show that you guys, I mean, we allowed the military to kill our commander and some of our guys. So, as um, in retaliation, then we're also serving you this kind of uh, treatment because uh, the, the, it was a, it was brutal. They, they were what they did. I mean, captured those uh, fishermen, laid ambush uh, on them, killed uh, uh, twenty six of them by wrapping them in the nets. It's those who ran away that was giving um, a report on how the thing actually happened. Well, I believe that um, their days are still numbered and we should continue to encourage and commend our troops and the, and the JTF too and uh, for doing a very good job because, like I said, their capacity to do damage, the way they have been uh, kidnapping and doing all those stuff has really, really uh, gone down. And I think um, we should continue to uh, mount the pressure by deploying those uh, uh, equipment like like the Tucanos and the other uh, air, air, aircraft uh, uh, fighters, and uh, and the drones to make sure that we we further decimate their powers and uh, get some of them uh, captured or killed or arrested, as mm. as the case. Mikio, may. do you have any updates on those so-called repentant um, terrorists? Because I know that the number has been growing. And I'm worried. The, the last time I was in Madugu, it was in January. They had um, their number had risen to eighty-four thousand. Wow! Hmm? And it's still growing. Yes. Eighty-four thousand terrorists. And they are taking good care of them. So when others get the information that uh, look, where uh, our friends are. They are giving them good clothes. They are feeding well. Eighty-four thousand. Yes, eighty-four thousand. By now, how will we? How will they be to convince? No, the another thing is, you know, when we had this uh, flooding that affected most of Nigeria, mm. it killed so many Boko Haram fighters. Really? Ah, they lost hundreds of people. Oh, they lost because they didn't get shelter. What? No, the, 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 the area was flooded too, and there was nowhere to run. No, they don't build, they don't build houses. What they have are just uh, rat tack mm. uh, shelters and stuff They don't build, it's not as if they build the houses that came and killed them. Yes. We killed them, we killed a lot of them. They lost many people, you know? And then, 
the problem, the people find it difficult to escape and then go and surrender are the people in ISWAP custody, are the fighters of ISWAP. Mm -hmm. Because the ISWAP area is a small area. They stay in the islands of Lake Chad. That area is small. The ones in Sambisa, Sambisa is very big. There are different areas through which you can escape from Sambisa. You can escape through Bama. All of the places uh, through which you can escape, those boys are escaping. Now, book around uh, commanders were setting traps for the people trying to escape and killing them. So what the soldiers, uh, what they now, because there are people who are always escaping and then handing over their guns to the military. Mm -hmm. So what these boys now began to do is, they will, when they want to escape, they will have buried their guns somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because once they are, people see them with guns and they are going alone somewhere, they suspect that they want to escape. So the, the fighters will bury their guns somewhere, escape on foot alone, and then told the, tell the military that this is where we kept our weapons. So they will go and recover those weapons there. So more and more of them are, 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 are really giving themselves up. Mm. Now, there are still some real diehards mm. that are even among Shekau's old fighters. Mm. There is a guy who is in the Goza area. You know, that Goza area on top of the mountain, the other side is Cameroon. He's been killing a lot of ISWAP people. That, one, that guy is very, very brutal. Mm -hmm. So the army would have to do their best to get uh, this guy. Ali Goza is his name. Because he's that's his main... Cliff. Ali Goza. That's his, uh, that's that's his, his name. name. <laughs> uh, but that okay, from Goza. He's on the Mandara Mountains. Okay. You know? So that's his area of influence. And he's the one taking the battle to the Aishwa people. He has I don't many... think we have a police college there again. In that Goza. No, that is a mobile police training. Uh, training. Uh, it's, still, it's still there, but they've not used it uh, for years. Mm -hmm. It's in, uh, you know, near Goza, it's a place called La Minkara. You know, I don't mm -hmm. think they've used it for years. All right.